Hello everybody and welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm showing you guys how to build some cool dynamic fire lighting with the use of hoppers and dispensers. So if we come over here and click this button, these pistons will retract backwards and our dispensers will light the top of these hoppers on fire, making a cool dynamic lighting effect. Now this will only work with fire spread off. So if you don't know how to turn off your fire spread, just press select, go to host options and turn off your fire spread. Now, if you don't have host options, you're going to have to exit your game, go into your your options for your game and set host privileges on but this is a very easy system we just click the button the fire goes off click the button again and the fire comes on so let's go ahead and look at the redstone as you can see there is nothing to it guys i'm going to be showing how to build up to the first one and then you can add as much as you want to so let's go ahead and start building this thing guys it's going to be a pretty quick build all right guys so for this build we're going to need a four by three spacing and of course the more you add on the more it's going to go towards the left now for this build we are going to need at least one dispenser one hopper one piston for every single one of these torches so the more you add on the more you're going to have to add up for your resources we are also going to need at least a handful of redstone dust a button and we're also going to need a piston a sticky piston a block of redstone a redstone repeater and a sand block for our input so let's go ahead and start doing this thing guys once you've gotten your four by three spacing come to the bottom left hand corner and right here is going to be your wall guys this is going to be the wall for wherever you're going to be putting this dynamic lighting then right off the left hand block we're going to place a button right here and a piece of redstone dust behind that block so when we click this button the redstone comes on next one to do is right to the right of this redstone dust is delete this block put a piston facing upwards with a sand block on top of it we no longer need our sand then coming out of this sand block we're going to go ahead and put a repeater right here on one tick delay with a block in front of it and redstone dust on top of the block then next to the redstone we're going to come up two blocks one two we could delete this block it's not needed and then put a sticky piston facing this way towards your sand block with a redstone block on top of it so now if i click this button the sticky piston should let go of the block so boop let's go of the block click it again and it retracts the block after your mono stable circuit has been put in come over here to the top left hand corner and come up two blocks one two delete this block it's not needed and then put redstone dust so now when we click the button and our sticky piston releases our redstone block this redstone dust should come on so we click the button and as you can see the redstone dust comes on click it again and it goes off next what i want you to do is put a block right above this redstone dust with another piece of redstone dust right here then come up two blocks from this redstone dust so one two and then put a piston right here facing off the side of the block then right underneath this piston we're going to go ahead and take out our hopper and we're going to put a hopper coming right off the side of this block like so and then right behind the piston we're going to go ahead and put a dispenser it has to be a dispenser not a dropper put a dispenser right behind our piston like that and then go inside your dispenser and place in some fire charges once you've gotten your dispenser put in we're going to come over here to where this redstone block is and we're going to put a block up right next to the redstone block and a block right above this redstone dust like that next come up a block right here so just come over and up a block like that with redstone dust here and then we're going to come up another block like that and then a block over with redstone dust along the whole entire thing and that is it guys you should be completely done so if i click this button this piston should extend out so click the button the piston extends out and then when we click it again it will retract activating our hopper right here so click it again and it will retract thus activating our hopper now of course you probably want to add a few more onto this so all you literally have to do is just bring out this line right here and bring out this line right here like that put redstone dust along all of this blocks like so and then of course you can bring it out as far as you want you don't have to make it every three blocks you can do it every two blocks or you can't do it every one block though you can't put them right next to each other so you gotta at least skip one block over guys so to add more torches on all you have to do is just skip at least one block guys and then put another piece of redstone dust here and then right off this top one we're gonna go ahead and put a dispenser like that and then we're gonna put a normal piston in front of our dispenser like so and then what we're gonna do is take out our normal blocks fill in your normal blocks up to here and then of course put your hopper right underneath your piston like this there we go and then inside this dispenser we have to put some fire charges and that should be a second one done guys so if we click the button our pistons extend click the button again our pistons retract and activate our torches and of course you probably want to clean up this area as well so it looks nice and you don't want to see any of this redstone dust so there you guys have it that's how you build the entire thing i'll do it one more time for you guys so just skip over a block come out put some redstone dust here come up with your blocks of choice like that then we're going to go ahead and put a dispenser facing off the back of these activated redstone dust over here put a piston coming out the front of your dispenser like 
that. There we go. And then we're going to put a hopper right underneath our piston and then put some fire charges inside our dispenser. Now, like I said, you could skip as many blocks as you want, as long as you just skip one block. So all we have to do now is just fill in this little area right here and then fill this little area in right here. And then we'll click the button. It will push our pistons out. And then why did that turn? Did you see that turn into a sticky piston for a second? And then we flip this back and it retracts our piston. I swear, I swear that was a sticky piston for a second. Let me do that again. Okay, I, maybe I'm just losing my mind. <laughs> so there you guys have it. That's how you build some awesome dynamic fire effects. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe. Stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys. Peace.